Hi, in this video, I will give you a trick on how you can unlock your urine flow by holding your breath. First of all, the thing I want to say is like this trick is a temporary method. Okay, it can help you to 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 pee in some situation, but it is it's not gonna cure your the root cause of the problem of your pyresis. Therefore, it can be useful in certain situation to to help you, but to overcome your pyresis for good, it's it's something that's gonna ask much more work on yourself and on your own fears. Uh, nevertheless, this technique can help you even if it's just once in your life, uh, having lived for it for, <laughs> for 17 years, I know every trick we can take is a good one. So the principle of this technique is to loosen up the muscles that control your bladder. Because as you know, if you have shy bladder, the, the thing is that when, when there's something triggering, triggering us, like, uh, a noise or you know uh, someone uh, with someone is entering the bathroom or something we have kind of a contraction and it, it blocks everything it blocks the flow so the goal of this technique is to loosen up those muscles to yeah to to unleash the flow basically and to do that uh, we we have to increase the level of co2 we have in our body and the, the easiest and quickest way to do that is to hold our breath. By holding our breath, we will not exhale the CO2 because normally we inhale air basically and we exhale CO2. But at, by holding breath, we will, CO2 will accumulate in our body and at some point we trigger a reaction to loosen up uh, the muscle. And that's what we want. Before I move on with the step-by-step -step technique, I want to say that I don't have uh, experience with uh, breast holding as a victim of shy bladder because I overcame my shy bladder uh, before knowing about this technique. Um, I'm very, ex I'm, I have a lot of experience with uh, breathing technique and breast holding in my own life for other reasons. Uh, but <clears throat> I have never experienced it with, uh, you know, in, in relation with shy bladder. Uh, but I know it works. I know it works for some people. It's not uh, an easy thing, but it, it can work. So even if it can work for only one person watching this video, or even if it can help you even one th once in your life as a shy bladder victim myself, I know <laughs> this is, is going to still be a relief. Okay, so the first step is going to be to fill up your lungs fully, but not in, th not in this kind of way, not like, not like that. This is not filling up lungs. To fill up your lungs very, like fully, you have to start with your, with your, your tummy. You should expand. And then, you know, the hair should start with your tummy and then your lungs. And then your, you should feel an expansion here. That's when your lungs are full. Like that. It's, your lungs should be full. Once your lungs are full, step two is to release hair until you are about uh, down to 25% air in your, in, your, in your lungs. So when you have your lungs full, if you do a release like that, you will say like it's 50%, or let's say 0 0.0. So if you want to go down to 25, it means you will have to exhale, force, forcefully exhale a bit of hair. And obviously 25% should be between you have no hair in your lungs and this, this 50% point. Okay. So step one and two, uh, should look like this. Now I'm 25% and that's where I can go to step three. Step three now is simply to hold your breath and try to keep your body still and relaxed. Just hold your breath as much as you can. Okay, after some time, which usually should be between 20, 40 seconds, depending on, on, on your condition, you should feel uh, your body gasping for hair. You know, it should come from your diaphragm basically, which will start to contract. 
It means, you know, your body wants to, you know, is gasping for air. When this happens, you know, this is, this is the first trigger. Just go beyond this point for, you know, that, uh, you, when you have come to this point, when your body is trying to gasp for air, it's, uh, you should just hold on some few more seconds. You will feel a bit of discomfort or, or doing that because you are going against your body and natural ones. So that's totally normal though. After a few seconds, you should feel what is known as a pelvic floor drop. Or basically, it means that the, your muscles are loosening up and the flow of urine should start. When it does, just don't breathe yet. Just hold on for a few more seconds until your flow of urine is as rich as is maximum flow. And then you can breathe. Uh, but try to breathe in a calm manner, you know, in a, in a calm and relaxed manner, not... <laughs> Not, not trying not to pant or whatever, J just try to breathe in a, in a relaxed manner with slow exhale and slow inhale. Because if you start to pant, it's gonna stress your body and it, it, it might cut the flow again. So try to stay relaxed in your inhale and your exhale. And normally you should have achieved it. Now that you know the technique, I want to point out some very important points. Okay, the first one is that it's not a miracle technique. Okay, so it's this this thing, it's uh, it works. Sometimes works, it sometimes does not, and some people will eventually master it, and some people won't. Okay, it's not it's not um, it's not a magic technique. The second point is it takes practice, you know, uh, some people master it straight away. For some other people, it can take tens or hundreds of try before feeling the, the, feeling the thing and, you know, mastering the technique. The third thing is that you should first practice at home before you try it in public. Okay. Practice holding your breath in front of the TV, in front of, uh, in your bed or even in your own loop. Okay, before trying it in public and, you know, be disappointed because you don't succeed. Also know that apnea can be a little uncomfortable and awkward at first. And this is totally normal because, as I said earlier, you're going against your body, natural, natural need and wants. And it's obviously going to be a bit uncomfortable. Just, just go through it. Just go with the flow and just accept that it's part of the process. And finally, it's the fifth point is that you don't focus too much on time. Just focus more on your bodily sensation, like the desire to take a breath you will feel with the diaphragm. Uh, you will, you will feel it. It's not about it's 20 seconds or 30 seconds exactly. It's, uh, it depends on, on the person and there's no exact time, you know, and therefore focus on your body sensation. All right, so I hope this video helped you and I hope you will master this technique uh, to at least help you in a couple of situations, tricky situations that we can face when we have uh, pyresis. But just know that, uh, like, like I said at the beginning of the, of the video, this is not a cure, it's just uh, a workaround. And therefore, if you want to really overcome your pyresis, you will have to work on yourself, on your, um, you, you will have to fight the, your shy bladder and if you want to do so just check out the links be below this video and you will find some good resources to do that i'll see you in another video and i wish you good luck ciao